Hi humanoids, welcome back to my channel for my favorite video game characters who happen to be LGBTQ+. There's no reason why, any peculiar reason why I decided to do it. Because yes, I am part of that community. Isn't it obvious? I wanted to make a video about my favorite video game characters in the LGBT plus community. I am a demisexual bisexual and I know a lot of people want to say shit about bisexuals and that they're just greedy or selfish or they're just closer to being gay or they're closer to being lesbian. I don't play that shit. I'm bisexual. Someone who's this cute cannot be straight. I'm sorry. Anywho, yeah, I thought that, you know, in honor of Pride Month, we look at my favorite video game characters, even though there's not that many in general, I think, out there, but not many that I've played. And I don't mean, like, projecting my attraction to females onto a game character, but just ones who will help me solidify my queerness, per se. Let's start with some honorable mentions. Uh, Lena from Overwatch. I have never played Overwatch. It seems a little bit overwhelming to me if I st if I got into it at this point, but then not only is she a lesbian, she happens to be the poster child of a game, and you know, shooters tend to have some toxic people, so the fact that she is a poster child and she's lesbian, I just wanted to give her the spotlight. And we know Blizzard doesn't shy away from LGBTQ+. Next is Birdo from Super Smash Brothers 2, who is actually the first trans character in a game and who happens to be married to Yoshi. And there was also a game called Captain Rainbow, awesome name where he got arrested Birdo got arrested because he was using a bathroom the wrong bathroom we know that how relevant that is now so the fact that that game just was ahead of his time is amazing to me and it's a nintendo game but nintendo been a little bit iffy about it Birdo is a trans character let's start with my teenage dream chloe from life is strange okay i had a boyfriend at the time but damn did i want chloe more than i wanted him she called to my teenage self the rubble in her the colored hair chloe was my soulmate as a teenager okay okay i did not sacrifice arcadia bay for her because i had to do the moral thing okay don't judge me the love was real and just in general, the Life is Strange series is just like a bisexual haven and knowing how people feel about bisexuals as is and me being one myself is great to see positive representation of bisexuals in the gaming industry. I mean, I like Max, but Chloe had life. We were gonna make memories, get in trouble. She'll be sitting right next to me in the jail cell and that's what I loved. I love that interaction. Sucks she had to die. Those games on those series of games are amazing and I'm kudos to the maker of those games. Okay, next is my lovely Juwani of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This game, one, should be remastered. That's just a side note. But two, I didn't know at the time she was actually Star Wars' first canon lesbian. What? What? Like, how long has Star Wars been out? And Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic came out in 2003. George Lucas, you were, you've were you been lacking. Where is my lesbians? Where is my gays? I want to see more. I'm down for Pona and Finn to be lovers. That's just me. Don't come to me in the hate comments because this is a non-toxic zone. Thank you very much. And also, Joanne really spoke to me saying, yes, I would do an alien. And I'm okay with that. Here's something a little out of the field because it isn't a female. Arcade Ganon from Fallout New Vegas. At first, I found him quite annoying. Like, annoying, first of all, you needed a high ass speech to even get him on your fucking team. And I was like, okay, well, I, I met you like 25 levels in because I s explore and shit. I'm already way into my skill tree, man. It's gonna take me forever to get my speech high enough. That's besides the point. He really got me though when he told me the story about his family and how his queerness was not his story. And Fallen of Vegas, I believe, correct, came out like 2009, 2010. And gayness still was not nuanced at that point. It was usually with game character storylines if they were not the villain. Because usually gay characters were the villain. Like that Birdie character, Birdo was a villain in Super Smash Brothers too. But they came in that line. It's, it's only so recently that LGBTQ storylines are nuanced in movies, games, and shows one medium is not guilty all by itself the fact that as old as new vegas is and the nuance rk ganon was the most nuanced gay character i really noticed in it, any medium he had a very big impact on me for that reason alone because his because his curiousness was part of his character but it wasn't his character his main quest was about his family and that hooked me in and the last one you know where this is going ellie from the last of us yes I know people have conflicted feelings about the second game. I get it, okay? 
but you have to understand she was the, the main she's a queer character 100 queer character the lead protagonist in a game who was way more than her queerness who made choices and had consequences of those choices who had feelings and who was humanized in the best possible way in her journey and i had i had a little mixed feelings about the end end of that game but the whole her whole journey and her queerness fit into her journey her helping raise her girlfriend's baby after the baby daddy was like and me and ellie have some stuff in common we both have high sense of paranoia and always think somebody's following us and we don't know how to let shit go the entire story is insane i know there's conflicting feelings about last of us too even in the first game she, she was still a protagonist she might have not been joe but she was still a protagonist in the second game oh my god her queerness was just a factor of her it wasn't everything of her okay ellie's character has one of the best arcs in gaming in my opinion and the fact that she's queer is just a bonus because that's not who she is and i know that pisses some people off that she's a powerful masculine female who is kicking ass well guess what get over it bro protagonists can be non-straight white males you know it is a thing and people want to see that thing it's not all about what you want i'm sorry it's just not gonna happen ellie broke so many milestones for people before her those queer characters obviously i named a few before lost of us 2 even came out be for real Shh. when people think about gay characters queer characters and the milestone how far they have come ellie is like number one on that list and i want to see more of her but for the sake of the series maybe not you saw how people just lost their goddamn minds but i think she needs a break to be honest I have played Mass Effect, so I have romanced everyone they will possibly let me. I have played Inquisition. I romance whoever they possibly can let me. So I have so I played a, quite a decent amount of games that let me be able to act out my queerness, but I want more. Is that too much to ask for? I want to play more games like that. LGBTQ plus people are involved heavily in the development of the game, so the reputation on the games are correct. I want to play games that represent it well. It's very nuanced. Let me know some games I should check out. Let me know about your stable queer characters that you remember who was like, yeah, I think I'm gay. I think I'm pretty gay. Stay safe, humanoids. Enjoy Pride Month. Don't do bad things. Support your fellow queer if you're straight. So have a good day, humanoids. And do good things for goodness sake.